Hi, I'm John, the Banking Systems Engineer, and this is part two to my message to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger of California. Arnold Schwarzenegger, don't be a girly man. Be strong. Run your own money system. Washington could also help California by backstopping state and local bond bonds with federal guarantee. You don't need federal guarantees if you're paying people with small denomination bonds and the debts are paid as you go backing up the bonds with the collateral of the work. That would reassure investors. Investors are with cash are worried. Preventing the freeze up of infrastructure structure projects. It would almost certainly cost the federal government nothing, said Mr. Levy. President-elect Obama, Obama hasn't advocated this yet, he adds, but his advisors are discussing the option. Even with federal guarantees for bonds, if you don't pay it as a California taxpayer, you're going to pay it as a U.S. taxpayer, right? Even with the federal guarantees for bonds, lawmakers in Sacramento would still have to tackle the budget deficit notes Libby. Republicans signal continued opposition to tax raises, while the Democrats stress it already countenance devastating spending cuts and some new revenue was needed. I didn't hear anything that was new today, says Senator Jeff Denham. Well, a Republican, well, of course not. They've already got the two options they know about, raise taxes or cut spending. So people should run the state would expect us to deal with all the waste first. Get rid of all the bells and whistles. If after 10 years of looking for ways to cut, there are any left, right? Oh, he'll find some more to cut. To that end, he's proposing eliminating a $2 million waste management board. Yeah, waste management doesn't need to be so well done. And support selling state property like St. San Quentin Prison. Yeah, let's sell our prisons. He would close tax loopholes, but wouldn't name any taxes he thought Republicans would be willing to raise. My guess is you can find a small number of Republican votes for additional taxes if there's a trade-off for some job and business incentives, said Mr. Schnur. Possible incentives include scrapping stringent 40-hour workweek regulations and scaling back on the state's ambitious greenhouse targets. So, press release from the Office of the Government. Schwarzenegger, the 12th of December, busy month. Governor Schwarzenegger launches the Bank on California. Not the Bank of California or the Time Bank of California, but the Bank on California to help Californians open bank accounts. <laughs> Amongst the population of people who have money, we must find them to get them away a bank account, right? Oh, well, that's it. That's his big idea. Open more bank accounts for people who don't have any money. And finally, on January the 17th, we have California Controller to suspend tax refunds, welfare checks, and student grants. John Chang announces that his office will suspend $3.7 in payments owed to Californians starting February the 1st. A. If the Unilet is endorsed by the both the WAF and the WSF by February the 1st, maybe they won't have to suspend all these funds to these people who need their funds so bad. People on welfare, getting, their, getting an IOU and saying someday you'll get a, be able to buy some food. <laughs> Next month you'll have twice as much food, maybe. Chang said he had no choice but to stop making $3.7 billion in payments in the absence of action by the governor. Come on, Arnie, you're an action governor, aren't you? An action hero. And lawmakers to close the state's nearly $42 billion budget deficit. More than half of these payments are tax refunds. The controller said the suspended payments could be rolled into IOUs if California still lacks sufficient cash to pay its bills come March or April. But they can't spend those IOUs, and they can't pay their taxes with those IOUs. But they'd be able to if they got small denomination California bonds. The payments to be frozen include nearly $2 billion in tax refunds, $300 million in cash grants for needy families, and the elderly, and the blind, and the disabled. Yeah, the people most able to skip getting their cash and wait until next month. And $13 million in grants for college students. Hey, put off college till next year. What up? Even if a budget agreement is reached by the end of this month, tax refunds and other payments could remain temporarily frozen. Chang said a budget deal may not generate cash quickly enough to resume them immediately. Not all payments will stop very first. Most school and health care programs will be paid, as required by state and federal law. The state will continue to pay more than $6.6 billion in such bills. And Los Angeles County officials said they would cover welfare payments to more than 500,000 local recipients 
for now, but California is projected to be $346 million short of the funds it needs to pay all its bills in February. By March, the state would be so far in the red that even continuing to suspend payments would not cover the shortfall. California would be insolvent, making the issuance of IOUs likely. State officials have already designed an IOU template. Well, what's wrong with a bond template? Chang said, and have been negotiating with banks over whether taxpayers could cash or deposit them if they are issued. Well, that would solve the problem if they could deposit them in their bank accounts. The state could be forced to pay as much as 5% interest on delayed tax refunds if they're not paid by the end of May, Chang said. But if they went with provincial bonds, they wouldn't have to lose the extra 5% penalty. The last time the state issued such IOUs, the only time since the Great Depression, was in 1992. The suspension of payments is the latest radical move by officials to help keep the state from running short of cash, as Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and the legislator battle over how to avoid insolvency. All these Argentinian provinces who showed the way and nobody smart enough to watch and copy. Schwarzenegger, who hopes to speed up public works projects to stimulate the economy, without any cash, wants tax increases, spending cuts, and legislation to relax some environmental rules and allow private companies to do some government construction. Democrats are seeking tax increases as well, but fewer spending cuts. Republican lawmakers would only pair spending and they've been blocking any tax hikes. Meanwhile, Schwarzenegger has ordered that most state workers take two days off per month without pay, so less services for everybody, equivalent to about a 10% pay cut. The governor has also ordered most state offices, including all Department of Motor Vehicle field offices, to close on those two days, cutting back services, yeah, strangling themselves. The order is being challenged in court by labor unions. And what can they argue? The government should come up with more money? We're not going to take provincial bonds. Of course, if the labor unions argue, we'll take the provincial bonds so they got no excuse to lay us off for these two days, they'd have a great argument, wouldn't they? On Friday, oh, the state has also halted payments of bond money for more than 5,300 public works projects. Well, pay them directly with small denomination bonds instead of trying to bring a big bond to get cash to pay them with. Tax it out with interest when you could pay them with small denomination bonds and later tax it out no interest. <sighs> On Friday, the State Department of Finance temporarily exempted 276 projects from the freeze, raising it because they're nearly complete. It would cost the state more to shut them down than to finish them. Some projects were exempted because the state's under the court order to do the jobs. Others would threaten that. Right? We're going to take the risk of allowing them to continue. So, Arnie Schwarzenegger, my last message coming soon. And finally, cash-strapped states selling roads, way selling roads and parks. By Mark. Tiga Lawn, L-O-H-N, Associated Press, December 27th, St. Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota's deep in the hole financially, but the state still owns a premier golf resort, a sprawling amateur sports complex, a big airport, a major zoo, and land holdings the size of Central American country of Belize. Valuables like these are in for a closer look as 44 states cope with deficits. Now remember, they're all dumping their assets at the same time in a world with no money, and they're all going to sell them all at fire sales, and the taxpayers are going to lose everything. Like families pawning the silver, all at the same time, getting low prices. To get through a tight spot, states such as Minnesota, New York, Massachusetts, and Illinois are thinking of selling or leasing toll roads, parks, lotteries, and other assets to raise desperately needed cash. So... This is the only way these people know to solve their problem. The idea of fixing the shortage of currency by using community currency, local currency, to fill the gap between whatever the federal currency they're lacking is beyond them. They've been trained two ways to do it. Live within the means set by their bankers. Certainly don't talk about starting your own money system. Their bankers won't like that. And that's why they have to do all these stupid things on such a regular basis. This is now a crash, and all these states are going to sell off all the resources that the taxpayers paid full price for at fire sale prices to anybody who's still got a little bit of cash left. And that's mainly the rich guys who pulled off this the crash in the first place. So, Governor Schwarzenegger, 
the only solution that solves everybody's problems if you start printing state bonds in small denominations and paying all your debts and then accepting those state bonds and payments of taxes, tolls, fees by the state. Everybody will take them. It's like having an interest-free source of money. Now, I can also ask you, because of your connections to the world's rich, not too many poor, who knows, maybe you do there too, anything you can do to get the Unilets time standard of money, the Unilets resolution on the agenda at the World Economic Forum, you must know some of the rich dudes going there. Ask them to look into, do their homework on banking systems engineering, time standard of money solves the problems of the rich and the poor. My goal, of course, get them both to endorse the Unilats resolution so I can retire and end my 30-year project to abolish interest rates and get myself an interest-free credit card. So, I can only say that we need an action hero now. Are you going to be the action hero? Come on, Arnold. Don't be a financial girly man. Let's see some action. Real action. You be our hero. I'm John, the banking systems engineer, Termel, giving you a way out and a way to be a hero.